Hi, it's Steve again. Um, I'm in Victoria, well actually outside Victoria, coach and bus station in London. I've got a three axle uh, Volvo Plaxton coach. It does still run a bit, it's an alternator wiring problem, so it's not fully charging, so I've managed to get it started, uh, get the suspension up. I've done a few little jobs on it, already save a bit of time, got a number plate on, got some cones, because you say it's quite a narrow uh, road that we're working on. I've just done a few bits together to get a few things organised. I've got the half shaft cover uh, there. Got to move half shaft. We're only moving one half shaft on these Volvos. Yeah, this is, uh, let's get you a few dimensions. So it's 13 foot one. We've got, you say it's a quite nice coach, say upstairs and downstairs. All nice seats. Quite a big old uh, girl. So it's rear steer this is. So we've got a live rear steer axle. So there's a toilet down the back, which I've used, which is handy when you get jobs into London. It's been an hour and a half in traffic. You need a pee sometimes, so that was handy. So the driver's gone off on another coach. So uh, it's left to us to get out of London. Yeah, a little test point here, just by the um, brake pedal. I've gone into that and that will keep the brakes off. I've taken the front grille off and then there's no test point um, or air coupling at the front. There's probably a tank I could probably go on, but being the suspension's up, I really don't need any air in the suspension. I just need the brakes to keep off. So we're gonna run this through the window. So this is a little bronze brake. Sometimes when it loses air, that pops up. That's down because we've had I've had it running for just a couple of minutes really. So the alternator wiring issue with it. So the belts are intact. So uh, it actually d does still run with the batteries, but obviously not enough to get it out of London for it. Runs out of uh, charge. All right. So I've done one of these for a little while. So we're going to get it loaded and uh, get it out of London. Oh, got a few things in place as you say just to save a bit of time really so it's not the ideal place to load but quite narrow lane but so i've put a few traffic uh warning cones out let's have a look under here all right yeah it's basically it's nothing really to uh pick up other than that axle on here so we've got a beam axle it's hence why the Maxi reach low line comes in handy to going straight out under the axle. And we lift it up on there. There we go, they're under the axle now. As you just say with the cover removed, there's, there's no test points under the front there. I think on the newer ones, I've done a about six months ago, there was an air tank on the offside, but obviously it won't be going down there with a river with a traffic flow. It's quite narrow getting past. All right, let's see. All right, let's put me uh, block under the boom. I'm, so I'm using that all the time now, just in case you have problems with the air suspension and it drops down. I'm using that with me uh, wheel chocks as well do have been a little bit higher really but we'll see if we can get away with uh, getting the forks under there right that's okay we'll leave it on there all right let's wait for that traffic to clear a little bit that's where we picked it up on the pre-lift let's see i can just squeeze in there for that other coach comes by right i'll have to drop it on its side for a minute mainly I can uh, that when I get underneath it all right let's drop that down and I've, uh, I've had a guess which forks we're going for on this Volvo oh. so the part brakes on we double check there I've got enough uh, 
height to uh, creep these forks under. We'll have a look. Just do a trial of one. There we are. Yeah, just take it a little bit higher. There are uh, things to do with. Just going to run this out a little bit on the axle. And have a look, see how she fits. There we go. That's fine, that'll do us for one. We'll have a go with the other way, as long as the road uh, is fairly straight. We should be able to get the other fork underneath here then. You say it's a long way back from the front to the axle. Right. It's a dodgy side here, so I won't be putting my legs out. Let's put... Oh. Let me move there. Isolate that for a sec until we get everything in place. Yeah, just where the road cambers a little bit. Hopefully you might better just sneak that under there. Right. Just as well. There we go, up there. So it got nearly at the end. Didn't want to go too far and but it go against that uh, thread there. Which says she shouldn't roll, she shouldn't move. So we can uh, go around the top and uh, put a chain to stop it sliding, if need be. Right, let's keep low as I can. Then I can use my uh, wood chock. Say so you're working on your own, so if you can take a few precautions. There we go, I put that there. That does lift it a little bit higher now. Got plenty of clearance at the back. Let's have a go. Let's see how we get on. Right. Probably move that. Just there on its side. Just one more under here. Right, see what we can do here. Gone over the top with the jug handles. See if we can come across here. Maybe underneath here. See if it all uh, try and get a, on a hook on a blink, should I say? There we go. Yeah, we've gone over top. You say it's not ultra tight, but but you say that will stop it moving if we do the same the other side. Fortunately, this is a shorter chain. Uh, here we go. Yeah. See if we can do anything with this one. Putting down its side again, just to, there's no weight on that. It's not supposed to be used on the side, but that's just more of a safety feature in case a boom drops down keep myself well away from this boom but let's just try and do a link or something to and come back on itself up there there we go that do us right Well, I come. Right, here we go, it's chained down now. Put that bit with this side, 
So I'm not going around that other side. There we go. Yeah, plenty of clearance at the back, so we've got the suspension right up. You can say we'll be dragging it around London with potholes and slopes. Right, so this is a little trailer valve. Just going on here. Just leak, make sure it's leaking out that end. If it's leaking out, it's gonna go in. It's gonna have to go out the window, gently. Down there. There we go. I don't want to tighten up fully till I plug it in because it's going to take the air out of the system. Right. Into the air connect to the back of the truck. So then I'm going to tighten that up now, make sure it's uh, not leaking. That's it, screwing all the way. The length is 14.5 meters we are. And the width is 2.55 and the height is 13.1. That's what it would be about. Right, let's I think let's do this window up a little bit if we can. This is a battery isolator. Let that go. Ooh. Which one this is? Is it right? There we go. Shut that down. Then we're gonna have to isolate it as well. Let that go off. Gonna let all it power down before I release the part brake. Yeah. There we go, I think it's all going now. Right, hopefully by releasing this we should actually feel it. Here we are. That's it, that's the brakes off. Alright. Alright, we're moving alright. Right, let's tidy that airline up, then we we'll do the aft shaft. Right, Is there any traffic coming? Get these stands and out of the way. We're not tripping over them, my boys. off in a sec. Got me blue gloves. I think there's a weight on here. So we're nearly 19 tons. 1870-38 kg. So this is the rear steer axle which really we'll leave alone. That will just follow on. So we've got loads of clearance for this. Oh, what, do I, what do I need? Need a socket, Steve, so you won't be getting them out otherwise. Right, let's get that off. 
think they're not very tight these as a rule. So the brakes are off. Alright. See if the halt brake was on so the front wheels probably wouldn't turn on that. So everything's shut down, all the electrics down, so no electric braking. Right, it's been so it's been broke broken down before we can see a little uh little mark where the hammer's been using. Oh, I'll tell you what, I won't undo these all the way because people walking, I don't wanna hit these, hit it and uh these little collars. Fly off and hit anybody. A little bit of time what I thought that one. A little bit old did the walk, but it should be enough to get these off. Right. A little spray behind. Same little collars that stick normally. Don't look too bad actually. Normally you see the seam of thing, not gonna come off the rust behind them. Right. Let's have a go with the collar. Oh here we are, look at that. Didn't even have to hit it. That was the result. Yeah, only one half shaft to removed on these. But just as well, because I have a job getting the other shaft out on that quite narrow road. I'll probably have to take one shaft out, then uh, if need be, if it was a 400 double decker or ZF uh, axle, we'd probably have to take one out, then probably pull up the road a little bit where it's a bit wider, so I can get the other shaft out, but only one half shaft on this. Oops, oh, look at that, right in the hole. That's horrible stuff, this is. Lost me a little uh, collar right down the bottom of there. Here it is. Anything. Two splines on here, which normally corresponds to a diff lock, but but not on these coaches. So you can pull out any shaft and uh, refit it easy enough. A little bit of juggling to get it lined up. Just put my half shaft cover here. Stop any oil leaking out. Just like that, so 
Getting in here now. So it's been a busy old week this is. So it's a 19th job since Monday. The weather's not been too good so uh, the trucks are a little bit dirty. Right, let's have a final check round. I think that's it actually now. Plenty of clearance at the back. They just be a little bit further back. That's where the Victoria Coach and Bus Coach and Bus Station is. So this is Buckingham Palace Road. check there you go plenty of clearance at the front all right I'll we'll jump through the seats or just wait for the traffic to the lights to change I say I will film uh, some of the route. So I've got my head cam and uh, dash cam to use. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? It's not a lot of clearance. It's quite a narrow road. Move back a little bit here. The last car should be able to jump in here. She's like, let's go, she's slowed up, so. Let's see how far we get before we hit traffic. Lovely, thank you. Coach driver let the surf over there. So we're going to straddle two lanes, so I come in from that this way, so I've had a quick little look what the first uh, hazards might be. I'll try and set myself up for, to get around the corners a bit easier. So the work so the work, work's been really busy and the weather's been poor so it's uh, fortunately I haven't found uh, too much really to uh, film the last few weeks so uh, when this one come up uh, so I did do a free axle coach um, Sitara over wheel grids before but unfortunately uh, the coach company uh, even though I was blocking the signs and that out 
they uh, didn't like the, the coloured scheme could be recognised so we have to get rid of that so it's a uh, hopefully this one will be okay yeah it's quite busy uh, place with all them coaches and that in and out every five minutes station it's quite handy being uh, yellow you can see the winger is quite clearly both sides quite visible so Around. I don't really know this area at all, but I've actually picked up out uh, of uh, Victoria before, so, uh, so I think it's sort of Park Lane. Towards sort of uh, Park Royal Way. the trouble we're going to struggle with really with these um where we want to go to the right don't we yeah looks like it's a 40 ring road probably be in the other lane actually couldn't we whoops never mind certainly they're saying left but that's I'm not going out that way that's probably towards uh Knightsbridge and Harrods, I would have thought. And a little bit easier route than that out. Yeah, Sloan Square to the left. Yeah, it's Knightsbridge straight on. We don't really want to go Knightsbridge. Junction. Oh, we go straight up, I think. Let's go straight up. Change of mind. Looks a bit congested that way, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now we go straight up. Twenty mile an hour limit round here. Yeah, I've done the right call there actually. I, so I was right in the first place. Side bus lane. Oh, he's in the wrong lane anyway. You think he needs to get over, or somebody parked up in the lane? Imagine the coaches probably heading out the same way I'll be going. It's funny how friendly coach drivers are when you've got a coach on the back. I think they probably think, oh. When they come in, we need them sometimes. Yeah, he's trying to... You wouldn't get to go there, mate, were you? That's parked. Oh, he's pulling away now.
I am running with the top beacons on for a bit. Yeah, so I get a few questions uh, why we don't run them all the time, but obviously on motorways and dual carriageways, uh, when we're keeping up with traffic, obviously we don't need to warn others. But I think uh, with this on the background here, tail swing and that, you know, just moving over a little bit, trying to hold two lanes really if I can. See how this pans out around here. Here we are, it's two lanes, where's the two lanes? Here, Marble Arch, that's it. That's why we're not gonna go out by uh, Knight's Bridge, that'll be Harrods. Can we get round here out blocking anybody? Possibly. Yeah, that's still running. Once we clear of the pedestrian crossing. going left here but looks like they've taken the lane out so I'm going to have to stay out a little bit and uh, keep an eye on uh, anybody coming up the inside like this van This BMW again. So we're a bit unlucky with BMW drivers actually. See, when I drive one myself. There we go. I say you stay there, mate. There we go. Hopefully, I should follow back in my lane now. Stop being a nuisance to them. So it follows on pretty well, actually. You can see, hopefully, you can see in the mirrors uh, the rear steer brings it round quite nicely. So we can't use the bus and the coach lanes even when we're towing one out. wider to the left and I'll be able to keep the back end in the lane. recovery truck waiting for something to break down there's the amount of buses and coaches on this uh, road into London I think it's fairly busy just keep an eye on that taxi down there you don't come out So automatic will be handy in London, no doubt. So we've got 16 speed uh, ZF gearbox on this staff. Which I'll be using plenty of second and third, so I thought, going through here.
so this is Park Lane in London now. And we've got here at the Dorchester Hotel to the right. Can't say I've uh, stayed in there before. I imagine it's not cheap location. A little bit tighter there, is it? There we go, sightseeing tours by Steve, Dorchester Hotel. Mark police car coming through here. Speed cameras to the right. Not like you can do 20 mile an hour down through here. So we've got Marble Arch, Mayfair to the right. Oh, we've got there's that a police car coming from. It's on to the right here. somewhere down there and then we'll be following signs uh, through Notting Hill and out towards uh, Shepherd's Bush Way I think then uh, A40 a little bit tighter through there for him through to Park Royal and out on the A40 out of London See these uh, coaches stop quite regularly to collect passengers on their way out. Not just uh, the coach station. Taxi drivers up the near side and the van. W2 we're at now. More traffic lights. You two we know. Many push bikes uh, coming past us at the moment. I 
probably gonna have to struggle this lane a little bit because uh, these trees with the wing mirror of the coach so I won't be able to keep totally in my uh, lane through here I'm nearly uh, leaning over to level to uh, the road. So we got, got some kind of a fire engine or something coming up. How is he getting on? Is he coming straight or no? It looks like yeah, he is. He's coming straight. Right, let's get his coat left and pull in a little bit. Looks like it goes to one lane now, so we'll come out a little bit. I'm not sure what life I've got left on me GoPro battery, but I'd like to thank everybody for watching the channel and subscribing just in case it does go dead. Because I won't be obviously swapping batteries on a red route in London, so we just take it how it comes really. So hopefully it should be about an hour's footage maybe uh, with the GoPro. So far it's quite uneventful, but nobody cut me up yet. And had uh, many obstacles, it's quite a, been quite a easy run, shall we say, so far out of London. seem to get through more than one traffic light at a time around here stop start stop start and we've got a cycle uh, traffic lights on the left here by looks of things Talk the devil was one there. Right, so the circle lane closed. It walk across the road, yeah. That's it. Oh, would all right, we're up to 20 mile an hour fairly quickly, even with this on the back. Got a nice wide cycle lane there to the left. We're going right away. Okay. 
Look at the little rattle you might hear. So we have got a gearbox issue with this. It's booked into DAS when I'm on holiday in a few weeks to get sorted out. We've got a bit of a rattle on it. At low revs and when the PTO's engaged. A little bit of an ongoing thing. Reported it uh, about six months ago it started and uh, they had it in to look at it and uh, found nothing wrong with it but but at least now it's a little bit more noisy now so hopefully you'll be able to address the issue hopefully a new gearbox just hear it on that on that low revs it's just kind of rattle noise then but it seems to be going in gear on that all right well, no issues that way so so it is under warranty so Gonna go or not? No, they're gonna stay the way. Just hit walk in front. Jesus, got a laugh. Mobile phone on hoodie. More traffic lights, High Park Coaching Car Park. Right, let's have a look at that when we go past. That looks fun to get a coach out there if it don't run. Let's have a quick look at the entrance. So doing a bit of filming there as well. That's nice, that is, isn't it? Got a slope coming out of that. That's lovely, that is. Don't know quite what all that is on the right. a little bit of movement with the with the bus sorry on the on the when it's been lifting up on the axle the air suspension just moving up and down gently I probably said earlier actually we were we'd sort of come along high park Staying out in the middle lane. Got a bit of deliveries on the left. Yeah, when I get to the other end actually I'll I'll have a little crawl under the side of the bus and see if the air tanks are on the on the offside. Just say the, the newer coach I picked up a few months ago that had uh, the air tanks and the test points uh, on the offside by the do you think by the drive axle I think or maybe behind it's on that side anyway but again there was no air coupling or no way to put any air under the front grille. But you say with these Volvos, uh, really once they start get the suspension up. And I sort of normally go in that little trailer valve and that will feed air into the brake system because if the suspension would go down on a Volvo it won't make much difference you putting air into the tank to keep it upright you would need the ignition on to reset it to get the suspension up but the beauty of this you can see uh, with the camera and when you turn if the buster was losing uh, losing height due to a leaky airbag a 
Blimey, I didn't think it was that warm today, but fair play to you, mate. Summer's on its way. It's like 14 and a half degrees, so it's not it's quite mild, really. Yeah, yeah. I say the weather's been pants lately, though. Especially doing this job laying down in the road in the wet. Certainly loses its, its appeal. I say this is boring, this is. I don't get, I get nobody pulling in front of me. Nobody cutting me up. I've got no diversions. No tight gaps to squeeze through. Dare I say it, it seems easy job at the moment. And at the other end we know it starts, so I've got no worries uh, about trying to find a parking space. I will I will refit the half shaft uh, for the garage. So it's easier uh, while it's on the boom to uh, locate the half shaft back. I can use the boom left and right. I should say in and out, left and right, to uh, locate the, the bolts in the hole. Be a little bit easier them doing it when it's flat. Giving you speed. Just having a look at forward. Uh, what's that in here? Cab's picking out a little bit. Let him go. Get him out of the way. Golden Tours. Plenty of a. Uh, open top buses today, we've seen quite a few of them. This is Holland Park Station to my right. cyclist it's handy on the phone oh they're gonna stop now ain't yeah yeah God, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, there's too many things at once there it's all gonna phone get off the bike I think these are a bad idea really, let you know your speed really. Especially if there's so many cameras that are gonna nick you. It's not a bad idea to keep you an idea what speed you're doing. Just say we're probably just under 40 tonnes really, I think. Total weight of us on the back, because this is uh, about 20 tonnes, and that's 19. We've got 39, I think it's 19. Well, eight, nearly, nearly 19, wasn't it? So, yeah, it's a 30, nearly 39. Oh, blow, isn't it? So, nearly 39 tons. Yeah, quite a length as well. But you say the rear steer does make a difference. It follows on uh, quite nicely, really. You're able you to keep in your lane. 
think this is Shepherd's Bush up here now. So we need to be heading right. Oh, I think we get over here a little bit earlier. Turn off, turned the volume off on the sat now. We didn't want that tweeting away. There we are, we'll take two lanes up here. Shepherd's Bush, White City, that's it. White City, that's what we're after. Right on the right. Right, White City, Shepherd's Bush. Suspensions up, no problems with the airbags leaking. Normally, a pretty well maintained these uh, coaches. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, that's interesting. Here we are, just caught him. Corner me eye. We've got Mercedes on the near side. And we got. Trying to make a bit of a sandwich of me, I think. Yeah, he's cut into where the lanes I am. Here we go, we creep forward nice and gently. Oh, and he still wants to come. That's amazing, he, he actually still wanted to come. Just go. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> See what Sam looks wants to come in our way. That's the bloke with it. Is he a chauffeur? Does the lights change that straight through? I don't say a chauffeur on the back of that. No plates at all on that Mercedes. But really, would you want to try and uh, come up the inside of this? A little bit tight around here. That's it. That's it. I was able to keep in me lane and avoid the curb. Right, that's White City. Westfield Shopping Centre to me left. Oh. We're up to 40 now, maybe. Flash, let him in. Right, I think it's time for. I think we got one little tight bit by the roundabout. This is good. Eh? 40 mile limit. Mr. Uber comes in front of me now, he slows down to 30. Now he's speeding up again. Now he's slowing down. He's looking at his phone. I'll we'll keep back a little bit. Yeah, once I got on the A40 or uh, I'll cut out the head cam really and uh, probably do a little bit more of the other end just to say we did manage to get to the destination all right. The coach in one piece or well, bus really, isn't it? What was it? Coach really. <laughs> Soon on the own Audi A6 S, a little bit slow off the lights and the old uh, Vauxhall Corsa. Just give him a mind. There we are, Oxford Wembley. Then we're heading out of London now. Right, that'll do it for now. I think. Sorry, it weren't more exciting. Uh, hopefully, hopefully next time I might get a few more people. Uh, 
trying to put in front of us and cut us up. That's a normal thing in London. But anyway, thanks for watching for now. I'm subscribing to the channel and uh, hopefully if the GoPro battery kicks itself into life again, uh, I'll do a little bit the other end. Thanks for watching for now. Here we are, we're at the destination now. Lovely British weather you can see. Just gonna wrap this up before we go in the yard. So we got here safely. Half shaft covers work well, no, and lost any oil at all. As for you, Craig, look how easy that half shaft cover come out, mate. It flew out, flew out, didn't it? It's all in the wrist action. There we go. Oh. Right, here we are now. So we're just gonna go in the yard and see the lads. So I'll probably put the half shaft back for them so they can maneuver it around. Yeah, quite a long vehicle really when you see it on the back. Didn't take much notice earlier when you're loading in London.